Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today's vlog is gonna be a little unusual because we are getting new carpet in our master bedroom, master closet, and master hallway, whatever you wanna call it, tomorrow. So we are cleaning everything out tonight and I thought I would show the before and after of the carpet that we get. So here is our master closet. If you watched my closet tours, you probably noticed that this looks a little different. So we had to clean out the bottom level and have it clear for at least a couple feet from the bottom. So I've just got a couple more things over here to the side that I'm gonna grab. We've already got kind of the shoe racks and things out from over there. And then this carpet in this area is gonna get replaced too. We are just moving, oh look, there's Penguin. We are just moving everything out here temporarily to get it out of the closet so that way they can come inside and get the carpet in. Also, my husband is using our bedroom as his office, so he has his makeshift office set up over there so he can work tomorrow. So tomorrow is gonna to be a super crazy day around here, and it's also just turned out to be a really super busy day at work, which is unfortunate, um, but we will somehow get all of this done um, because when this was scheduled two weeks ago, it looked like, oh yeah, that's a great day, and now there's all kinds of stuff happening now. But I'm gonna finish with this last little bit here, and then one little tip that they gave us whenever they gave us the information because we have all kinds of tchotchkes and all of that off of our dresser, which is just over there. Luckily, we have a lot of, um, you know, space here in the, in the master bathroom to put that kind of stuff. But they actually said that the bathtub, that's a bathtub underneath there, works as a great spot to stick clothing and things out of the closet. So luckily we did have this bathroom which is attached to our master closet right there. And so we moved this from our bedroom. All of this is gonna have to get broken down and they'll do some moving of furniture. Oh look, there's Dan. <laughs> they'll do some moving of the furniture tomorrow, but you have to have all of the like little stuff, like all the drawers and everything have to be out. Like his little stand there is already kind of broken down. So that's what we're trying to get done tonight. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff <laughs> on this. Every single time we move and every single time we do anything like this, it's always like, why am I not a minimalist? Oh gosh. But um, yeah, so this is why we have kind of drug our feet or I have drug our feet on doing this, but we're, we're doing it. So this carpet is a little bit, I think once we pull it up, we're gonna be like scary surprised. Um, I think the people before us, they had dogs and their dogs were in here a lot. So this carpet in here was definitely begging to be replaced. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. And we've had carpet replaced in a number of other houses that we've lived in, in Illinois and Michigan, and it's made a huge difference. So I'm really excited to see. This is the before. We'll just open that all the way up there so you can see behind the door. This is the before. And then in here, it should really lighten things up a lot because, um, you know, this wall color is darker, which we need to deal with that too. But this wall color is dark. This flooring was a little bit dark, so it should hopefully brighten all this up. So we need to get that out because that still has jewelry in it, and then I still need to deal with things under the bed too, which is all like my picture boxes and everything. But we're getting there. It's starting to be a little bit more empty. So it actually went fairly quickly to get everything um, sorted out quicker than I thought it was going to. So we got this closet all cleared out and I just lifted up the tall things over there. The side so all the shoes and everything are out. This hallway of course is clear. A lot of this stuff is over here. And then in here we're gonna leave the nightstands and the bed put together tonight but we got the mirror off the back of the dresser and whatever's left in the dresser is empty. So they got, they can move this stuff around wherever they want it. And I think the only thing left we have is to move that jewelry on wire, although they can probably get that with a hand truck. And then we just cleared out the bottom of this closet, which has had like the canister Dyson vacuum down there. And the rest of that is linens, but we don't have to get the top out. So this should be it. And I think I showed in one of the vlogs 
going to look at carpet samples. But in case you missed those vlogs, we are going with a lighter color. And this is what it should look like in the end. So we shall see, and hopefully it is a decent color to be a little bit dark enough to be able to keep it clean, but also brighten up the room a little the bit too. The thing we had to keep in mind was this tile that was already around this fireplace because we're not planning on changing that. So we had to get something that we felt like went with the things that were already here, like this woodwork and the uh, tile on the fireplace and all of that. Obviously the paint, that's gonna get changed. But this sort of stuff we're not planning on changing. We're also planning on keeping penguins, so he has a thing with carpet samples. I do not know what that is. <laughs> he thinks they're like dog toys. <laughs> so we'll see what this looks like across the whole carpet tomorrow. Good morning. It is carpet day and penguin is trying to figure out what's going on. So we have the closet all cleared out. And our bedroom is about clear. So they clear out like all the big furniture, but you have to move all of your like items. And every time we have to do this, I'm like, I don't know why we do this to ourselves. So much easier to do this with an empty house, but here we are. Uh, but we're getting there. So they're gonna arrive later today and put down the carpet and then we'll put all this stuff back. It's not too bad, but the tub is definitely full. <laughs> so. We've got the bed taken apart. We have a sleeping room bed, so we had to pull that apart because they don't deal with the electronic beds. And then they'll deal with moving the shell of empty pieces. All those drawers are empty. So they'll move the shell of empty pieces. They just won't move anything that has, you know, accessories on it and all that sort of thing. So I just came back from being at work for a little bit this morning and I'm gonna toss dinner in the crock pot because the carpet installers are supposed to be here shortly. So at least hopefully dinner will be taken care of tonight. Tonight we are gonna do chicken bacon ranch so that way it is something quick, easy, and everyone likes. For dinner tonight I'm gonna use bacon pieces because we still have this giant leftover bacon piece thing and put in some sour cream. No, it's not sour cream, cream cheese. And um, ranch seasoning and dump this in the crock pot, put it on high, and let it sit for a bit. <laughs> so the kids are doing their lunch break and we have work areas set up all across of the place because people are having to, you know, just make the most of it. So it is about six o'clock at night. We're getting ready to eat dinner here in a little bit and the carpet is still being installed, but I haven't got a chance to see it yet because I've been finishing up work and had back-to-back -back meetings, but I'm excited to see what it looks like and to see what it looks like with our stuff on it too. Natalie is hanging out in my office. She's chilling on the little couch in my office, working on her fire. While I get some work done. So today was crazy, but productive. So the carpet is in, it is eight o'clock. We had work things going on for a lot of the evening, but our room looks completely different. When I walked around the corner, cause I had not seen anything they were doing the whole time, I walked in and was like, oh my gosh, it is definitely lighter than before. So we were definitely wanting to lighten things up. So here's the tile that was already here. And then it was more of like a brown for sure. And then this really lightens up the room. Obviously we've not really moved anything back in other than what they've moved back in. So it looks like we just moved in. But this is the new carpet. I thought it was gonna be more of like a taupe. It looks pretty, pretty, uh, obviously on camera, it actually looks even lighter than it looks in the room, to be honest, because it looks like off white on the camera. But um, I, I think I'm gonna like it. I gotta let it grow on me. And now I think we definitely need to paint. <laughs> but it's really interesting because it definitely brightens up the room quite a bit. Everything's all echoey because everything's outside of the rooms right now. But here you can kind of see what that looks like. Obviously everything we own is in here. So this does have a lot of sound dampening going on. And this is what it looks like in the closet. I think it looks really great in the closet. So I'm planning on replacing the light up there with a kind of prettier light, chandelier. And I think like, especially in the closet, it looks great. So there is the new carpet and hopefully it wears nicely and vacuums nicely. That's the next thing we have to do is send Rover in to vacuum it and see how much it pulls up. So I guess this vlog became like our week of the life vlog for this week. It's all about the carpet. So it is a few days later after the carpet was put in. It's the weekend now. 
and we've had the car for a couple of days and we're working with Home Depot to see if we can find a solution because we don't exactly love it and it's actually for a kind of weird reason and I'll show you what I mean. I actually really like the color. I think it lightens up the room but it leaves tons of marks when you walk over it or do anything on it and it makes it look dirty even though it's not actually dirty which is really weird. So we've had it in for about three days or so and so I've taken pictures but it's really weird because everything that you do just kind of leaves marks all over the floor and it you know just if you're just glancing across it looks like the floor is dirty and it's just super aggravating to be honest so this is what it looks like about two days afterwards actually we got it on uh, I believe Wednesday or Thursday and it's Saturday today so it's only been in for a couple of days but you can see it just it's just kind of like it's not necessarily discolored because it's not dirty but it's just because like the carpet like if it gets pushed a certain way it just stays and then it will just keep piling on top of itself so it's already wearing badly if that makes sense. So I'm kind of at a loss because we put carpet in our house both times from Home Depot. Both times the same material, 100% nylon, so I just got something similar that we put in before. And we got those in our houses in Michigan. One house that you guys didn't see because it was before we were vlogging regularly or at all, I guess. And the other one, um, was the downstairs family room it probably if you've been around for a few years watching us since we've been in michigan it was like kind of that family room that was on the lower level where like tv and stuff was so not the main like living space with the dining room but the because that had wood but then the downstairs area we replaced that carpet from home depot and both times were very very happy so third time apparently was not the charm in this case um but we're working through to see a, what we can do. We really don't want to drag everything out again. I really don't want to deal with it. But I almost, like Dan and I have had a number of conversations where like, we have to at least ask so we know, like right out the gate, if we already know where we're having, you know, like these issues with it, we need to just at least ask so we do our due diligence. So I'm not really keen on having to move everything out and I really don't want to have to deal with like going looking at flooring again and I just, it's the whole I do not want to deal with this thing. Um, but on a plus side, when they ripped out the carpet that was in here before, they actually said the carpet and padding that was in here was not that bad. So, um, you know, I guess we could have just got it cleaned an extra time and maybe would have uh, helped. It really wasn't that bad smell, but we just kind of felt like there was going to be stains and stuff underneath because they had kept their dogs in here. I hear Rover coming by. I think it's mopping right now. Um, but as it turns out, it wasn't too bad. So that's the plus side um, is that the, the stuff that got pulled out really wasn't as bad as we thought it might be, which is good. But... We're not loving how this is like wearing already and we're thinking it's probably going to look like holy hell <laughs> within probably six months, which was not our exactly. aggravating because this was not the cheapest carpet. In fact, I think that this has been the most that I've spent on carpet. All of the times that we've gotten carpet, um, so it's just kind of aggravating. So you can see we've not been in here quite as much as the closet, but it's doing the same thing in here where this is a shadow, obviously, but you can see like any time that there is movement on the carpet, it looks like when you're just like kind of glancing over, it looks like dirty spots everywhere. So, um, anyhow, we're working through it. So not quite the happy ending I was hoping. The nice thing is, is that I do like the color. I think I would just get something similar colored with just a different whatever whatever is making this do this just get a different something um but i do like the lighter color and we are still planning on regardless of what happens replacing this light which is just a basic closet light with something like a chandelier and just you know we're working on making this closet a more inviting space overall was kind of the goal um but anyhow let me know if you've ever had this happen down in the comments what ended up happening for you did it end up not bothering you after a while? Did, 
it just end up getting dirty anyways and you don't even notice what looks like dirt marks anyhow I don't know it's just it's you know when you get something new especially when it was this expensive um, you know I would just really and I wouldn't have minded spending actually even more money to get something that wouldn't have done this it was just we were not anticipating it was gonna do this so anyhow you um you live and you learn I guess like we got large carpet samples but the next time I'm gonna be like can I buy like a three foot by three foot squares so we can walk over it for a week and just make sure that we're gonna like how it walks. Other than that, I really don't have any other ideas for how um, this would have, I don't know, become more apparent. Cause we got the larger carpet samples and then we got smaller ones too. And I think I vlogged when I went into the store. Um, but anyhow, we will let you know what happens. It is what it is. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just flooring. If we eventually have to rip it up and replace it, we will. We've already come to terms with, we had a really good long discussion. Dan and I feel the same about it. We want to work with them first to see what they'll do. We bought carpet from Home Depot before and it's been fine. I'm not worried about it. If they'll do something, fine. If they won't, fine. We will just deal with this until it looks like crapola, <laughs> which I'm thinking will probably be a fairly short time period and then just replace it. Um, but I'm not going to run out and put new carpet down now on our own. After just getting this, I'll just, if they're not going to do anything to fix it, then I will just suck it up. Um, I don't know. And I just, I'm really surprised because we've gotten carpet two other times and it's been the same like materials and everything and it did not turn out like this. So we'll see. And I, we could find out that it's a carpet defect too. So they're, they're working through that because we've sent them pictures and all that. So we could find out like, no, this is really not supposed to do that. There's something wrong with it. So we don't know. We're in the middle of that right now. But anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed our normal week. It was a crazy week at work. It was, I worked way too many hours and, um, you know, it's just the whole juggling everything at home. The kids fit in for themselves pretty much, but hopefully next week we'll be back with more regular vlogs and all that. So um, definitely share your carpet stories down below if you have any wisdom to share, or any stories of your own. And we'll try to get back on track next week with more regular vlogs. <laughs> Thanks for watching today and have a great day.